mid-Rubik. I mean, you, we could see a mid-Rubik, but I think your mid-AA is... That sounds more more likely. In our games earlier, it definitely looked like that. there was a, a race to pick heroes. Like, okay. uh, you know how usually you kind of wait a little bit as they're deciding who's going to be what? It kind of looked like the players were racing to get certain heroes because they didn't want to play the garbage hero. Like, Ace got stuck in Undying. And I don't know if that's what he actually wanted, so see how fast they snap up some of these secret heroes. I, I just want to say, what, what would you... Let's go, let's try and game the system here, Trent. What would be the ideal random for NIP to close their draft with? Let's see if was you can that, call it. Was that Lich Ban always there, or am I crazy? No, they did. They did ban that about third, oh, okay. third of the way. And it was really just a random, you know, screw Lich. Which, yeah, right, I can appreciate. Fair. I can appreciate. Fair, fair. But what, what do NIP need? What do, what do they need hmm. to random? What could really round this draft up? Uh, the Abaddon. That's the. Then you just five man. You hope for the best. I'd like to see. Oh, what well, we going for? Secret, secret. They'll get a lichen, so they are not messing around. They literally just want to end the game. It looks like, that way, yeah. They're not messing around. NIP. I think a nice random, a crystal maiden. Crystal maiden. You get a, you get a nice spirit. Would be okay. I'm. I, I. If I were them, I'd be praying that they're going to random a CM. But I'm. Come on, I have a prediction, Trent. This is your moment. Okay. What's All What's right, going to random? Right, Go on, make it cool. All right, uh, Say it's going to be... It's going to be... Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I got it. Uh, it's going to be a Pangolier. It's going to be a Slada. Final Pangle. answer. Slada. Oh, oh dirty Spectre. We're totally off. We're totally Medusa off. Medusa and Sven. <laughs> PPD Sven. Okay. Well, in my defense, at least I was in the Agi category. You know, I was 30% correct. I mean, so let's let's be let's be a hundred percent honest here. There is no way that NIP win this game, right? Like, there's literally like you have Team okay. Secret. They have literally picked a proper draft. NIP have literally randomed. The only thing they did was ban Lich. Everything else has been left up to 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 Gaben and and, and the Frog to random these heroes. Like, there is this game is imp it's not impossible, but they really shouldn't win this game. So now let me tell you a tale about a little tournament called Midas Mode, <laughs> where some teams started picking their full lineups, and other teams would random their whole lineups, and then one game, <sighs> they're I... randoming their whole lineup team won. And guess how the other team felt then? Like they were shit, because they lost to a five-man <laughs> random sack. So then what do they do every game after? They five-man random because they don't want to be embarrassed again by losing with the try-hard lineup and looking like sucky try-hards. So, so I mean, Nip win it's... this game. This, I mean, th it, that's true. You know, this is PPD versus Puppy. You know, PPD's come over to Europe and he could show up one of the biggest European captains if he can beat a Puppy draft by randoming. I mean, this is, this could be huge. But as I say, like, the chances of NIP winning this. I, I like it. If they're it, going full try hard with a random draft, that is, that's <laughs> admirable. I can appreciate that. I'm just excited to see what happens. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. NIP versus Team Secret. And indeed, NIP have come out with the full all-random draft. Not a single hero was selected. This is what Gaben has blessed them with. We've got a what? A 33 shaker? Pretty good. Yep, yep. PPD Sven? They've done it before. You know, NA teams have done it before. Support Sven, it can work. Fada mid on the Dusa? A classic. That's fine. Bottom lane? Ace carrying on Spectre? Pretty good. Saxa? He plays some funky support heroes. Why not put him on a Huskar? It's not that terrible. Yeah. Meanwhile, Secrets lineup. The only thing slightly fun is the mid 1AA. Other than that, it's. It's oh, okay, and it is it is a Zy Lycan, uh, so it's an offlay Lycan, but still, they have got a very strong lineup. Makes sense. It, it was yeah. expected too, right? With the Absor being the drafter, that it would be him on the Rubik and then mid one on the AA. As much as I kind of wanted another yeah. mid Rubik. Yeah, but mid Rubik would have been pretty fun. You can go like Veil and Yules, and you can set people up into your own uh, Ice Blast and Cold Feet and whatnot. I don't know, man. This is gonna be. This is going to be an interesting one. As you said, crazy things can happen. They can actually, like, cancel out so much of the Berserker's blood between the, uh, the Null Field and then the Icy Vortex and a Veil. They have a ton of magic nuke in combination with one of the highest burst spells on, like, low the CD for the uh, Oracle. Oh, boy. 
see what we get out of the links. See where it's going, who's going where. Three man goes on PPD. He's ready to throw some stunts. As I, I did note those that last series, you had a lot of kills going on, didn't you? Yeah, like a hundred numerous times. It was, yeah, it was... Uh, quite a few. This uh, support Sven got nerfed too, recently. Like losing out on the uh, level one two second stun. I mean, recently being you know since the last time people actually ran support Sven a lot. Other than like, I think we had like two or three times at TI, as you were saying. I think like VGJ Storm ran it once. Yeah, Storm definitely did it. Yeah, and they won with it. They did win with it. I'm pretty sure. In the group stages. The old Vega Squadron used to run it a lot. I mean, it's, it's a hero with a stun. He offers a buff. It, you know, there's definitely things that could work out. It's a, it's a pretty strong stun as well as you said. Obviously, it was a lot better in the past when it what used to have the flat what two seconds at every level. Yeah, just like straight up and then. It was a little easier to go back towards the Great Cleave. Because then you could use that to try and actually get items at some point. I don't know. It's always been a little funky in that regard. But if he secures 3-3 uh, three, three, some levels and some gold, that's all we can really ask for. Mid lane, AA also has a really long attack range uh, at 675. So he should be pretty good at dodging with the Mystic Snake. Which is uh, very nice in the matchup versus the Medusa. Yeah, that's true, actually. I mean, at the moment, the CS. You know, I'll say mid one with the edge. And that's going to be first blood up top. Uh, it's going to be for the side of NIP at the same time down bottom. Yapsa and Zai will be able to pick off Saxa. One for one trade starting for now. PPD getting a little low. Can pop the war cry, get that armor buff for the two of them so they can back off and get back to safety. Yeah, that's a lot of gold for a shaker to start with. Doesn't have a whole lot of HP left, so he's a tango up a little bit, but. Doesn't look like they'll have the burst to kill him. I don't know, Puppy's level 2 though. Oh no, the panic. That's not the time to purify flames. Oh, they'll get him. I think they're going to get both of these, aren't they? As PPD's trying to run, he's trying to hide. But Nisha and Puppy are hunting him down in the tree line. He'll pop the stick charges. He's trying to bring down Nisha with him, but he won't be able to. It's Puppy. Purifying flames seal the deal as he picks up a double kill on this top lane. Yeah. PVD getting baited in a little there to use uh, with eight charges as well as a mango. So both just go down as wasted. But uh, I guess it helps drive Nisha back, so maybe not a total waste. Yeah, Nisha right. and Yasuo are walking all the way back to base. Jeez, Zai almost dead to this Huskar. Oh, he's gonna live. But the Tango hides behind the trees. He's just going to survive. Only just, he's got a salve as well. Uh, so he will walk back in range of the dagger. So Ace is able to cancel the salve of Zai. As Zai heads back towards the lane. So speaking of funky supports, this is one that I've seen a couple times in like some open qualifiers, a couple teams who have done this. It is an interesting idea, the support Huskar, right? Because it has no mana it's, issues. No, I think, you know who told me about it a long time ago? It was actually uh, Winter as well. Mid lane PPD comes in with a gank and sets up far for the kill. They get the kill on the mid one. Uh, but yeah, Winter, he used to say Huskar support. I think it's something that some of the uh, Southeast Asian teams did do in some of their qualifiers. I, I can't yeah. remember when this period was. But you're right, it, 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 some teams have done it before. Because, I mean, it is it is annoying. You get in there, you start stacking up the burning spears on someone. What do you do against that in the lane? It, 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 it's a fair bit of damage that adds up. The problem is it's only the lane. Sure, <laughs> yeah, it's it's any sort of the impact. the laning stage ends, yeah. yeah Fada being fully zoned back here. Actually gets hit by the cold feet. Didn't expect that. But uh, has a fair to salve now. Let's see, 33... Top CS, this man on his shaker. 21 and 8 at the moment. And that's with the rotation of Peter to the mid lane too, to help get that kill. So things going very well for 3-3, partially because of that first blood in the really early boots, has a bottle now as well. And he'll be trying to contest that five minute bounty rune. I'd like to see Peter back up there in time for that. And he's mid lane on to mid one though. And it uh, looks like he will be getting back up top to help out, to help secure that bottle. Or not, because <laughs> he runs bot. Going for the battle instead. I mean, bottom lane definitely kill potential. We've seen already how they've been able to get Zai with sort of the harassment between the Huskar and the Spectre. So yeah, the stunnings there, they could do it. It's PPD still hovering around between that, as you say, mid and bottom, deciding where the next play is going to be worth making. And bottom lane, Yapsor, picking down very low oh, yeah. to the burning spears. Ooh, yeah, PVD was fight. pinging it too, saying like, come over here, in case he comes to the bounty room, like a greedy oh, guy that he is. is. He is, <laughs> PPD new, and HP, can he get him for one more hit? He can't. Brown nah, but good play by Zai. 
snag up Crap's the trying other. to snag the other. Oh my yes. goodness. Zion at the moment. Getting decent CS out of the spot lane. 18. But uh, Ace having a final time on the Spectre. Honestly, considering this was an all random draft, it's not going terribly for them. And I No, they're, so they're even ahead a little bit right now. And Zai, probably dead. Yeah, there's a stun from Peter. Oh, and that, that's one of the the more painful ones oh, to die. Mm. You know, you Look die, at that, the, though. The kill's gone to Ace. Yeah. And now you don't have a TP to get back to lane. Well, then Poppy. And it's best to play around 32. Ooh, does set up there for the arrow to come in nicely for Nisha. Jumps in. Got the attack speed and the burst for the Star Storm. As they'll pick off 33 on that top lane. Setting it down to 4 for 3. Yeah, Oracle level 4 and 5 is a pretty terrifying force. That's when you uh, are going to have a difficult time staying in lane. But nice Ice Blast mid. First use for the kill on Dusa. Oh, we can see Saxa wanting to try and have a bit of a go on to mid one. They will get the DD in the late. Yep, so take it. As he's got a bit more health. So oh, what a save. A few more punches in. 33. Trying to see if he can chase down these two. They're both pretty low. 33, he's got the Fisher back up in a <laughs> They're still second. running to the shrine. This stun can be huge. Or oh, the telekinesis onto Saxon. They'll get the Storm Armor out onto Midborn, the Horn as well. What can they get out of this? They've got mid one. Can they get anything more? Ace and PPD looking to chase down Yapsort. And Desolate damage starting to punch into the root because Yapsort, Stick Charge, Infused Raindrop won't save him. NIP take the two of them. Oh, that was even with the shrine getting off. I mean, this, I, I want to see what Secret's response is going to be game two if they get beaten by an all-random in game one. Because as you said, you you can't do a tryout draft again, can you? If you no. lose to an all-random lineup, you got to come back in game uh, two with an all-random. I've, I've received a message from Pimp. Uh, I'll just read it out here. Oh, Can yeah. you tell this OD guy to lower in-game volume by like 100% brothel? <laughs> <laughs> I literally did three minutes. Nice arrow mid. So we should be good. Okay, good. I, I already, I, I did, uh, did spot that out. But uh, thanks for shout out to Pimp. I do appreciate that. Because uh, half the time I would not notice that. But I did look to the side. I was like, oh, the, the in-game sound seems to be in the red a lot. No, I don't think that's good. <laughs> but we're good now. Production value matching the, the quality of this game. And Saxa will fall. On lane 33. And the punch is into Nisha. Kind back in on the mid lane. Phase boots nearly complete. Just a blades of attack away. But it's, it really isn't going too bad at all for the NIP with the all round. Yeah, they don't uh, have any stacks going. I don't even know how much they're going to be putting onto this Medusa. I mean, she's starting out well. But I feel like you want to be funneling more of your attention in towards Ace. But, uh, yeah, fought all fine. Couple camps here. Get himself, uh, phase boots. Not quite done, actually. He's bringing some TPs. He's a, he's a little poor. If I can go for anything, he's popped the, uh, popped the shapeshift. As he dies past behind the tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under Not really a, a kill that they can go for, as it seems. Yeah. Mm. Be able to get some pressure onto this tier 1 tower bottom, though. Yeah, that kind of sucks, though. Typically, you really want to kill with that first Helm ulti. Uh, Hellbear, not the best creep for it. But at least securing the tower will be good, but he's out of ult. Yeah, they're bringing TP's in. PPD leads him with a stun. And the Kinesis from Yapso quickly throws back PPD, but they've got the movement speed that they look to chase down Zai. Zai, he's just going to accept his fate. He knows he can't get away from these three, and Zai will fall. Slowly. He was really microing that hell there versus Peter or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, my PPD hard. won the battle. Hard, you know. Interesting. That's where you start throwing a secret, you know, because game's not going too well against the all random strats. Now you gotta oh, look like you're, you're just, like, you're oh, just playing. Yeah, you're just, yeah, we were just joking, guys. Uh, we, <laughs> JK, we just, guys. It may look like a serious job. We weren't really trying. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yep, so Anisha on the look for a catch here. We'll be able to find something bottom. There's three down, and PPD's ready with a counter play. And so he's gonna head forward, gonna pop the horn. Ace will be more than fine. Nisha, essentially the one in trouble. He's got the Moonlight Shadow. Oh, the burn, though. They don't have detection. Yeah, but they're following that little purple line. Uh, I mean, they are. Oh, Peter's on it. Oh! Oh, shouldn't have leapt. 
I think he was maybe worried that the cleave off a creep would kill him. So he leapt away from the creeps, but that in turn ended up spelling his own yes. demise because of the stun from PPD. Got him, dude. Same time, Fada did get caught out while he was in the middle lane, tried to pop the stone gaze to save him. But was not enough. Sox is just trying to get sick somewhere here. Yeah. Looks like that tome will be uh, coming over to him, unless Peter's going to take it. I mean, once he gets six, you know, so it's a decent amount of damage to offer, you know, jumping in and turn someone down. But as for now, the AL will hit onto Saxon, so he is going to have to make the wall back. It's puppy heads in to try and find that finishing Purifying Flames, but there's a whole side of NIP there waiting, ready for him as they'll turn, chase him down. He's got the false promise, but there will certainly be more than enough damage to burn through the Oracle here before that uh, ult comes to an end as NIP continuing to keep the game at a level. For nine, slightly maintaining the lead. CS wise, it's looking good for them. Net worth wise as well. There, there's a Spectre quite far ahead at the top of the board at 11 minutes in. This is yeah. It's, I mean, this really is a, a fantastic start for NIP. They are, <laughs> it looks they great, are doing dude. it with the all randoms. I mean, as we uh, said, the the randoms. I mean, it is a it. it they weren't that bad. They weren't that bad. If I had to give them sort of the randoms of Dude, they're I'd... pretty bad. I, I mean, I'd they're pretty it's terrible. This, it's a 6 out of 10 draft, I'd say. I'll give it a 6 uh, out of 10. I think you're being pretty generous. They have support Husker and support Sven. <laughs> but these things have been done. Yeah, but there's also a lot of support heroes that could have been random that are actual supports. Oh, oh. tanks the arrow for his buddy. Uh, Not my Spectre, he says. But that, that really, as you said, that was the bro play. Keep an ace safe. Oh my goodness. Looks like they want to commit in on this tower up here. They drop the ward down. But uh, Ace able to pull back the creep wave. Mid one's even here. 10 seconds to the next ice blast. Peter's uh, reclaiming some fire in the bottom lane. He even has a god strength now, too, if he wants to show up for a fight. I mean, he's doing all right for himself. He's, what, he's got level eight. Not bad at all at this point for a support sweat. He's certainly been soaking up an, a, a, a juicy Zion's bit of action. Is under and this is the uh, Mask of Madness Rapier game for the Deucer. What, you your, uh, just your space up. maker just... strat, you know? Radiant Here we go, set. secret. Ready to pounce, Zai. Looks to go on to PPD, but Nish is there as well with the arrow onto PPD. The AI is both. Oh, it's going to be a juicy one there from mid one as he lands it onto the three of them, gets the double kill. But it's going to be held in place by the cold feet. A secret will find a third. Three kills for them, maybe even more as Ace now alone. Nisha, saved by the false promise, will allow Secret to clean up a fourth kill. And they get that fight just as the Blink Dagger is finished for 3-3. So very big maneuver there from Secret. Really needed a fight in this moment. And uh, all their ultimates being used, obviously, to maximum effect. I mean, you can't ask for much more than the three-man Ice Blast this early on. Oh, that was, I mean, that's the dream there for mid one. Getting a blast like that. He's got his phase boots. He is going to be going for phase. Into Rob build. I do like it. PPD trying to hold off the push here. There's a lot of heroes. Japs up with the stolen dagger. Sends it out. Ice Blast as well. Will pass across PPD. Mid one tries to bring him underneath the threshold, but PPD will be tanky enough to survive. Saxa jumping forward, try to look towards Nisha. A puppy's going to be there with a the save. Puppy will sacrifice his life, but Nisha will be allowed the space to get back to safety. Uh -huh. Chasing on the mid one here. Turn, arrow onto PPD. All the invis. They don't have detection again. So he is going to get himself away. Yeah. That lucky little snow cone. Peter had all the detection on the Sven, but he was stunned up for so long from that arrow. <laughs> He's just running and dropping sentries, hoping for the best. Uh, but he won't be spotted there as he loops around with an Observer Ward. Mid lane. They're going in. The Absorb. He's going down. Quick jump in from 33 to finish off the kill. Damn bottom, Sox is going to run into two. They're smoked up. There is an Ice Blast available if it's needed. He does have some of that heal going. It's not enough to keep him safe. Mid one comes in with the touchdown. 3-3's Three thinking about coming for this bounty rune. He's got an Observer Ward to help him. Eh, he'll leave. 
Will he? Is he going to go? Go on, go for it. Yeah! <laughs> TP out before the cold feet procs. Yes, sir. 33, nice. ladies and gentlemen. He wants it, he'll take it. Just might give away their award, though. But that's okay. Oh, who's got the Necro? Zai. Zai. Right. Zai's starting to build up the Necro. Monocons. Level 1-1 one, one on its way out. One in a push, one in to end this game. PPD. Finds a couple in his woods. Oh! 33 with the counter play, though. Hit them with the two-man slam and the touchdown. 33. Yeah, there are a couple of real squishy targets there. And secret re-examining their draft thoughts here. Yeah, Absor sort of being scolded, it looks like. Come on, yeah. How's he doing on the greed? He's nearly got his Yule Scepter done. Top lane, Farda. Pretty much taking the tower. And it's going to go for the Mask of Madness into the Hurricane Pike. I mean, he's you not even that far behind, considering there's no, a Spectre on his team. He's not. I mean, if this game goes on, there's... Like, late game... Secret I don't mean, have a chance. Like, no, like this <laughs> game just goes. They, this game over. I'm saying it's like when you first start playing yeah. Dota and you you think you're picking the right heroes because you watch a couple of pro games and you're like, ah, oh, sweet, yeah, look, we have two supports and offlaner and they're just five <laughs> carries. They're so bad. And then you throw like four fights and it just feels impossible to win because all their items help them scale so well. Mm. It's pretty much that. Oh, this long arrow. Oh, <laughs> the blink to the side. The sweet little sidestep juke from Mr. 33. He's oh, so much for that ward. But he's got his, and his shadows picked up. Father's taking towers on his own. Things aren't there. They're looking on the up for, for NIP. I don't know if Secret's played this fast enough to be able to shut NIP, NLP down. And this... I mean, could this really be in, in, in professional game... Uh, gaming competitively, I, I, I win for an all-random lineup against one of one of Europe's best teams. Uh, <laughs> it could I be. get a couple of those CS of Fortune's End that followed Fada. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's not looking too hot here for Secret. I don't know, it'll be fine. I'm sure they'll just like <laughs> run down a bunch of towers and get Roche. And this Atos is actually really big for a mid one because we talked about the downside of the AA with the Miranas that you're just putting yourself into a lot of unreliable stuns, but the Atos really helps setting up for himself, setting up for arrows, lets them play pretty skirmishy. And uh, the Rainy are just focused on stacks so much right now. They're actually a little bit separated and probably gonna lose both here. They found uh, ace. They'll take him down yeah. immediately, Zai as well with the shape shifting to trace down another PPDs in the trees. He's going for the TP out and will make it. No way to hold him back. So the smoke play, they get pays off in terms of getting the first big kill on to Ace, and they will be able to take a tier 2 tower as well with the pushing army of Zai. And they're getting objective secret. Yeah, taking good fights while the uh, echo's down. I kind of wonder about the first Roche though, because that is something that seems like sh um, they can use the Huskar to help with, even if it is a support, but at the same time, Seeker can obviously do it very quickly with the Lycan. Yeah, I think definitely. I mean, and I guess, yeah, one side you got to worry about the slam, the other side you got to worry a little bit about the Ice Blast coming in from mid one. Yeah, as well as the vision from the Wolves, now. too. Yes, yeah, they're always going to be scouting it out. Yeah, there's another smoke here from Secret. Midwomp has the Rod of Atos done, ready to set up for kills. They saw them D-Ward there though, so they should get back safely. 3-3 three, three even pinged it. Yeah, they usually mean like to try and get closer, but as you say, this is... Looks to be, uh... All too uh, easily understood by NIP. They're keeping themselves back in base, and they're gonna go for the counter smoke. So they've got the slam back online. They are level 12. On I like how they're the showing socks at bottom too. But it yeah. seems that uh, Secret will respect that at least a little bit here. Back away. They're not going to be able to find the, the fight on either side that they would have hoped for. Off, uh, they do see Zai. Are scanning. And they're pinging him out. P 
Peter, Peter's still going. No one else is with him. <laughs> He's just charging. But Peter's him. into it. <laughs> He'll pop the ward down. In the sentry, at least. Uh, Zai will be left. Keep farming. And Ace, he's got the first major item done. He has that Manta style. So suddenly that, that sort of rod of ATOS on uh, on mid one. Not so much of an issue now for this Spectre, who's going to have uh, a pretty good time in these fights when the horn's up. He should, yeah, I like uh, that he bought shot. Dust too. Oh, he has. There we go. Yeah, just got it delivered. So ready for that next big fight. We haven't even seen the uh, stone gaze yet either. No, I think he's just using the one this way. He tried to keep himself alive mid, but he didn't end up, end up dying. Oh. Unless his mid lane. He uh, should have him easily. Cold he's got feet. 20 charges. It was going to be close if he actually got through that because they were running low on stuns, but yeah. Finished. Same time down bottom. Nisha. Just hunting for Saxa. Saxa trying for the juice. Oh, they're going to turn it. Oh. Oh. He will fall for it, but it will set up Ace. To get that kill on Tanisha, so I think Zach's And top two. Three, three. That TP? The crits. Too much. Yeah, way There's too many crits. 33 will get taken down by Zai and his fantastic zoo. So level 15, ready to push on. They could look for this tier two tower top. The creep wave on its way round. And that was the that was the slam used as well by 33. So no slam for 100 seconds. Butter still getting space though to farm. It's very close to the Manta style, but as I say, that he's in trouble. Mid one comes in with the cold feet, the blast. As Fada will get nuked down by Yapsil. Another kill is found. Ace has come across. He's trying to see if he can get something in response. He's on top of mid one. Yeah, he's still Manta to go too. To work. There's the three of them. He does yeah, have to back off a little bit. A secret do have the numbers. As Ace, I, he's, he's sort of trapped in there in the trees. He, ooh, that Manta. He's trying to get himself out, but he's just going to get nuked down. The combination of magical bursts between sort of the, the Rubik and this, you know, the Oracle at this stage of the game is too much for a, a little old Spectre. Yeah, Guess they have a gone. ridiculous amount of damage amp. Yeah, I don't know why he stopped in the trees. Did he get cold feed or something? I think, I think the dagger may have sort of worn out at an awkward timing, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. Just kind of like paused in there, but it was hard to tell in the uh, division the yeah. there, so might have been an Atos or something. Yes, it could, yeah, you're right, could very well have been. Yeah, Absol, trying to hunt. They know that Saxa was up here, won't quite find him in time. Saxa's out. Peter. He did come forward, and we'll pay the price. The secret now, now they really start to get the ball rolling, as you said. We could, you know, you, you, there was always the chance that we were going to see uh, they're taking towers. They're getting these quick picks, and it's at a stage where both the, the Spectre and the Medusa aren't quite ready, really, for the fights. Ace and Fada. As Fada's still working on that Manta style. Doesn't really have it. I mean, they're still doing very well in terms of farm. But Secret, obviously, looking to end the game before that farm gets a little too out of control. Ace. Will be fine. Quick heal from Saxon. They're a bit out of resources for some of these heroes, but they're also using this time and space to get the Roshan here for Zai and Nisha. And they are smoked up, but oh, the Echo had just come back too. That was with Haunt and everything. Could have been a massive fight. They may still find something, even though the Roshan's already gone. PPD leading in. Finds Zai with the first stun. The Fisher out as well to pop the horn. Joel 33. He's in with the big one. Managed to take down the Oracle, but there's Yapsa with the stolen slam to take down the slam man himself. A secret they've lost too, but they're trying to fight back. Saxon will be actually able to take the edges out. That's stone gaze. Uh, they're, in, they're gonna get another one in deep fight with the stone gaze holding them in place as NIP. They just walked into Team Secret, who had the Aegis, but they took the team fight. They killed the Aegis, they killed four of them. As and NIP are now ready to storm down mid and maybe look to take a tower for themselves. People are so much better Earth Shaker than they used to be. Like the fact that he didn't just instantly jump and try and go for the solo lair onto the Lycan, like grouped up and everything, uh, but instead waiting until he started running towards the rest of his team and then gets in for a three-man dunk instead. And sure, there was a great steal from Yapsor, but he had already done so much damage at that point in the fight that it's very hard to come back in an engagement where you take so much AoE damage and then you're fighting into a Spectre. And follow with that stone gaze coming in huge.
Huh. Peter, so Peter leaves that fight and he runs down like this, right? With no observer wards in his inventory. So when you see Peter come out like that, you're, you're gonna think this whole area is warded. Which is kind of funny. Oh. Oh, he... No, he's not getting out of that. <laughs> Tried to go for the TP out in the river, but there's a whole team of secret ready to take him out. But they're keeping the game going, NIP. They really are. The, the, the next moment, you know, you're you going to blink and you're going to look, and then Fada's going to have his Scardy on top of the Manta. And he, yeah. he's, he is, he's going to be able to get the Stone Gaze off every single fight. We saw what happened last time when he was able to. And they it's definitely missed a bit of a window where, like, these yeah. cooldowns, they're very long for the side of the Radiant, but now the Death Timers are starting to creep up on Secret. And so it's harder to abuse when Echo Slam's down and when Haunt's down and when Stone Gaze is down. Like, everything's back up by now. There's 15 seconds till Echo, another 30 until Haunt. And that's when the game starts to look very scary for Secret. Oh. I'm gonna put the Moonlight Secret. And he's just seeing if he can try and find some action. Under the case, as NIP. He's backing up, keeping themselves safe around Ace, who's got a full Diffusal now. Manta style and Diffusal done on the Spectre. Huge amount of damage for this stage of the game, 25 minutes in. Whoever he decides to get on top of in the fires the top lane. The yep, so actually sort of whiffing the stolen Echo Sound there. Not quite sure if they hit anyone. As uh, now he's just going to get chased down. Ace and Fada will finish off Yapsor. The rest of Secret, they are still hanging around. Zai's leading in with the shapeshift. Even though they've lost one. I don't know if this is a fight that Secret really want to take. You'll see a Fisher come out from 33 trying to separate them. We'll separate Zai from the rest of his team. Zai... He's not going to be daggered. <laughs> not quite able to, to get the, the connection there, Ace. As the rest of Secret will back away, finally deciding this was not the fight for them to take. Was there an arrow or something there? Or I, I missed it. I just saw him bit. blink duck. Blink dunk, but it doesn't do anything with Rubik, right? Oh, the shaker. I mean, yeah. sorry, yeah, well, yeah, because he popped the echoes up. What do you mean it doesn't do anything in terms of it doesn't stun? It's just like, it's so much weaker without Aftershock. Like, it's oh, just yeah. useless. Oh, yeah, it really is. It's it's very underwhelming. I think he was, he was just out of range as well. I think he tried to telekinesis yeah. into the Echo Slam, but he... Yeah, it I said it did uh, 130 damage, so... Oh, there we go. Breaking some but, records. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Zai, Zai got a DD, but he doesn't have shape shit. The Saxa will jump in, start to punch into him. 33 with the Fisher as well to hold back the Lycan. Nice boss will connect onto Fado. Got the Stone Gaze up a secret. They were able to keep their distance. I'm going to try for the chaser and I'll see if they can find anything. Zai being healed up by Puppy with that false promise. The purifying flames should bring Zai back up to a healthy point. PPD, not the case. They find him. Secret find the Sven. Could be ready to push his Shapeshift's going to be back online for Zai. Yeah, there's a Shadow Blade now on 332. The Necro 3s. Uh, looks like the warrior is dead. Oh, there he goes. He goes in. Does get lifted straight away. Yaps is going to be there with a stolen stun they have from PPD. It's 33 will fall. The slam, not enough. To find kills for NIP. His secrets still remain fully alive. Buyback from PPD came out as well. Looks like it may have just been enough to stop the high ground push. But not getting them the kills. But at the end of the day, as we keep saying, as long as NIP can keep this game going, they are going to be on the better ground. And farther... Scardy money, it's there. He's nearly level 20. He'll have that extra mana. And Ace as well, just looking to tank up and get the Scardy a good mix of all in terms of damage. Yeah, it puts stats. them a little out of sync again, though, because now we're 90 seconds with no Echo Slam, whereas, like, the haunt and everything's ready. So could still find a decent fight here for Secret, but uh, only a 3k lead at this point with the uh, comparison of heroes. I'm getting a little worried. I'm, I'm kind of almost ready to put this one in the favor. Oh, we should check the old Dota Plus. It loves Spectre. Oh, I always get worried oh. about pressing the F keys because I feel like I'm going to pause the game. What key is it? F8. You sure that's not going to pause the game? Positive. I've got... I'm checking my hotkeys. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I don't, I don't want to be... Trust no. me. <laughs> it's only a key fight. Do it. I... Did it work? Okay, we're good. Yeah, no, we're good. All right. You're right. It's been loving Nip this whole time. 81% for... From seven minutes in. It loves Spectre. It, it really loves, loves it. Spectre. And understandably so. Spectre <laughs> Courier is going to get away. Oh, they didn't even get it. They might get a kill. Yeah, they're going to know that they're all in this area because of the direction of the oh, Courier. 33. He's giving them some pretty important information. He's just seen the whole entire team. They have no detection. 
hide in this. <laughs> Level 20. This is a ta this is a tanky doozy. You're no longer killing this guy straight away, even if you get the ice blast on. But has got a chance to survive. Oh, and I think they lost. I think secret. I think secret. I think secret lost. Just lost to an all random draft. I, I mean, we, they, we don't know, but it's not looking great. There's a Spectre getting bigger and bigger. There's a Dusa sitting way ahead at the top of this net worth. I'm at the point where I would be yeah. surprised if Secret won, because the buybacks are now there for the Radiant. And here they go. In with the whole PPD's there with a wraparound stun on top of Mib 1. Mib 1 will be saved by the false promise, but 33 jumps forward. He has the lockdown they need. Mib 1 will throw the Ice Blast out onto nothing. As BPD's falling low, he's still actually alive for now. Ace cleaning up, finds the double kill side, trying to go straight in onto Ace. The Echo Slam on top of the Echo Slam from both parties. But it is going to be NIP that are coming out on top, as it seems. There have been buybacks from the side of Secret, but they're struggling to deal with Fada. Finally, they'll get him, but 33's in. With the quick slap onto Rubik, finds the kill. He's into the Shadow Blade. They don't have detection. 33 could go back in for more if he wishes. Oh, he wants it. At it. Not the worth heals. the risk. Yeah, they've started to heal up. The secret having to expend two buybacks there to win that fight. Yep. It's going to be about a 500 gold swing in the favor of Nip, but then when you factor in the fact that they're all sitting in base and not farming right now, that'll actually probably come out either even or a little bit ahead for Team Secret. But uh, I, one thing I hadn't considered actually is that this is Rubik versus Huskar. So if he gets the Aghanim Scepter um, with. Oh, that Ice Blast! It hit the fountain! But what does he have? Anything? No, he doesn't have eggs. And it's only level two. Oh, damn. Yeah. Thought there was some hope there. But, uh... So one thing is that if he gets the stolen ulti from the Huskar with the Aghanim Scepter on the Rubik and his, uh, talent, he can just one-shot anything. With a 75% uh, spell amp. Oh, yeah! It'll actually just kill who... So, like, even though you have these massive Spectres well, and Medusas... Just, it, abs it will 100% just kill Literally 100% just yeah. kill them. Because they have so much magic amp on their team anyway, with like the uh, the AA and the Null oh. Field. So you, I said, well, at this point, if you're secret, your priority is getting the absolute to level 25. Yeah, like actually. Like that is actually the. And then the way Soxa you just game. never casts alt again. <laughs> that would actually be the oh, that play. Is, that is also quite a good counter. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Well, let's see. Let's see if they fall to that plan. No, that's really what a, what a showing we're having here from NIP. Moonlight Shadow will come out from Secret. We'll jump straight away. PPD's gone. And it's just the support spend, though. The rest of NIP standing strong. Yeah. 3,500 gold on his way to a butterfly. Because at this moment in time, no sort of true strike, MKB or anything. Fada almost and tried to bait this one in here because they still have Haunt. They have the Echo Slam just now back up, too. Let's see. They're going to go for the bait. They jump forward. There's Ace with the return play. Goes in with the horse straight away. Trying to look to get on top of the Oracle. Nishi's got the BKB. He's looking to finish off Fada. Can he do it? Time Fada gets the man to start off. Marshall Saxa jumps in, but Nishi's going to be the one to finally clean up. Gets the two big kills. 33 with the slam. With the slap. Cuts down Nisha. Nisha to fall. Fada buys back. 33 being chased by Zai. He's got one more stun, but surely he'll still fall, and he does. Zai gets the crits, gets the kill. As now Ace Zai being kited a bit here. Ace, and find Japsaw, Telekinesis throws him back. He's been surrounded. They're going to be able to get him inside with a triple kill. PPD trying to do his best to this support spam with the God Strength, but he's also getting held down in place. Secret will come out on top of this team fight. Yeah, Fada got burnt way too fast from the uh, the Necros and the Diffusal from the Mirana, so he never got off his ulti. And that was a pretty big turning point, because like, you're supposed to be baiting with the Zeusa, and then you pop Haunt ulti, and then you use that Chaos and the Vision from the Haunt to then get a good Echo Slam. But instead, it was like an Echo Slam there to redeem the fight and just get one pick off onto the Mirana, which is certainly not the way you want to play that from NIP. And we had another Ice Blast from downtown just to push the wave in as they go for Roche. So if you're secret, you get this Aegis, and then you think you, you just have to try and force high ground. You've got to just, you've got to play ag aggressive with them, right? They, they can't sit back. Uh, yeah, I think that was a pretty fortuitous fight with the, some of the spell usage. It just, it's very difficult, I think, for secret to win this and win a lot of these team fights, but... Dota Plus, it liked that quite a bit. Now just 37%, uh, they're up there, right. at least. It's like doubling their chances in the past uh, couple of minutes. So, what's the status on some of these ults? 30 seconds until the Echo Slam. And, uh, yeah, Haunt's gonna be back up. 
So by the time the push does come in, NIP will be able to respond with a full team fight. Hey, Absol, how's he doing on his road to level 25? Level 20. He's getting there, yeah. And he does He's nearly have the agonims. Hey, right, we're going to be all good. This really is the plan. Is there any other sort of big spells that, that you can really make the most of with a 75% spell amp? I guess nothing. There's no sort of massive, huge. Nothing news, crazy, no. But even just this, the cooldown's incredible for against Earthshaker. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the amount that you're going to be able to do. Any other good ags upgrades that he can steal? I mean, obviously, if he gets Enchant Totem, which is pretty easy to steal with a two second cooldown, that's pretty sick with Rubik. Hopping and bopping all over the place. You get the Mystic Snake upgrade too. I was thinking the Mystic Snake one could be quite nice, couldn't it? I mean, that as a spell does a lot of damage anyway. So you're adding the extra spell amp for that. And you've obviously got a Lycan and Marana ready to punch those. Oh, Ace? Those times. Greedy play here. Ooh, trying to go towards the rune. He's going to pop the horn, get himself out as he jumps around, ends up in the middle lane. And we'll still chase him though. It's mid one. He's got eyes on him. He spots him out. And does slow him down just enough to, to make sure the cold feet does prop. They'll find him. They'll get Ace outside of the base. That's specter down for 80 seconds. And now, oh, stolen heart. The stolen horn. The Absol beautifully finds Fada. Fada does get the stone gaze off. Is it enough to get him back to safety? There's going to be a buyback from Ace. Fada should still fall here. He's getting as much damage out as he can in return. But that is Fada gone, and he does not have buyback on the Medusa. Zai, sent up by the Fisher. False promise from Puffy will free him and allow him to back up. The secret, they've got a good window now, 100 seconds without the Medusa. What can they do with this? Slam is up. 33 could look for a big play. As can secret push with this Medusa down. They have to respect the Shaker, they have to respect the Slam. They cannot They're get so too close up. to each other. <laughs> if 33 sees a chance, he'll take it as the wall. They get the stun onto Nisha. Nisha looking to beat into PPD. PPD held in place by the root. They found the melee racks mid. 3 3 solo it. smoked. He's still waiting and praying for that Dream Echo Slam opportunity. He's yet chosen to take it. He tries for a fish, but it's not actually going to hit. There he'll go with the slam. It's only onto two of them, though. And there's Yapsaw getting saved again by Puppy. 33 will fall, fall as Secret. They'll move in. They're ready to go for more. Ace does manage to get the return kill, but that's him dead for 100 seconds as well. No buyback on the Spectre. Secret sieging the base, taking this Tier 3 tower and looking to take a second set of racks from NIP. Ooh. They may have just done it, and they have. GG will be called. No victory today yet for an all-random lineup. A secret. No messing around from them. They keep it cool. They, yeah. bring, they bring it. Did we see some mid-1 AA, which is a bit of fun. Zion the like, and it's... Uh, well, we, I, we've seen that in the past, but they do it. But you got to give credit. NIP didn't look too terrible.